right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up. We're in the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel of Luke, we're going to look at verse 43 through 50 today, and we're, we're, we're in this devotional series, what is forgiveness? What is it? You know, are you forgiven? Has, has, have your sins been forgiven by the Lord Jesus? And have you received that forgiveness? Have you, are you experiencing a walk realizing I'm forgiven, I'm right with God? I get to walk with him. Nothing separates me from the love of God. And if you have been forgiven, then what we've looked at is, does Jesus require us to forgive others? You know, uh, one is directly connected to the other. And this week, we're looking at forgiveness practically. Forgiveness practically. You know, yesterday we talked about how, how if you have forgiven someone, that, that love covers a transgression. And it doesn't keep talking about it. Well, today, practically, I want to talk to you about this. Walking on a regular basis, realizing I've been forgiven of so much, so much that I need to forgive others of so much. And we need to see the, uh, the reality, uh, the, 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 the natural default that Christians lean towards of becoming Pharisees. Uh, just like in the Gospels, we too today can lean towards beginning to think that our sins that we struggle with, well, they're not that serious to God. But the sins of that brother or what I see in that sister, that's the big stuff, and, and they're, in, they're in trouble. No, we need to realize we've been forgiven, and we need to uh, be free to forgive others. And we're going to pick it up. Luke chapter 7, uh, a sinful woman is going to come and minister to Jesus at the table of Pharisees. And the Pharisees aren't going to be too happy with Jesus about this. We pick it up, verse 43. Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. You see, Jesus had just asked them that there was a creditor uh, who had forgiven everyone of a certain amount. Each one, uh, one owed him a lot of money, then a little less, then a little less. And he asked him, who, who is going to be more, who's going to love the, the, the one who forgave them of this debt more? And Simon answered, verse 43, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And Jesus said to him, you have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears. This woman came over and, and began to weep as she was near Jesus and washed his feet with her very tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. Verse 46, you did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Verse 47, therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. They're forgiven, Jesus says, they're forgiven. For she loved much. And then Jesus says this, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Now listen, this woman, we don't know exactly what she's done. It's, it's, the idea is that she was a prostitute and she had sinned against the Lord and, and uh, she was guilty, but she is forgiven. And Jesus here says, to whom, to, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. To whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. You know, if you think, well, you know, the sins I commit, they're not that big. Practically, you're, if you think that about your own sins, you're going to be prone to then judging other people. But if you realize and you recognize the truth, which is this, that if you were the only sinner that ever existed on planet Earth, and Jesus was, wanted you to, to, to go to heaven to be with the Father, he would have still had to die on the cross just for your sins. It was the only way for, for man to go to heaven. So your sins, though they, you might think, well, those are little sins compared to, you know, Osama bin Laden, Adolf Hitler. If you think that, you, you miss the point. You see, your sins were what nailed your Jesus, my Jesus, to the cross. My sins were bad enough to nail 
Jesus to the cross, to put that spike through his wrist, to put that spike through his feet. It was your sin. And when you and I do what 1 John 1, 9 says, go to the Father and confess our sins, and we're forgiven of our sins, we're cleansed from all unrighteousness, when we do that, when we go to him and we process that, we then realize we are forgiven much. And listen, as Jesus says here, the one to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. But he says about this woman that her sins were, were many and she loved much. When you realize your sins are many and you realize that Jesus on the cross paid for your sins, your love towards others will grow big. You will love others in a big, big way, a life-changing way. So practically today, love the Lord, realize your sins are forgiven much, and love much, love much. Father, I pray that your people would love others big. In Jesus' name, amen.